Uh, attention ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. Uh, we're approaching 30,000 feet. Uh, thought I'd do a little rap for you up here. Get ready for it. Uh, <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Matt Bellisai, and this is Wine About It, a weekly video series where I get drunk at my desk and complain about stuff. On this week's episode, the worst types of people who take airplanes with me. I know, everyone's got their airplane stories, all right? But this is my struggle. Let's drink. She's a sour one. Okay. All right. First of all, there's always that one bloated genital wart who thinks it's acceptable to recline their damn seat 10 seconds into every damn flight. Fitting me into an airplane seat is like trying to fit a walrus into one of them paddle boats. It's difficult enough. Then you gotta come in and make it worse by pushing your seat all the way back. For what? An extra little two inches of comfort. That's all you get. I should have figured. So any person who reclines their seat on an airplane is exactly the kind of person who deserves joy from two inches of comfort. You get it? You get it? Like a penis. Then there's those people who get on an airplane and try to fight me over my goddamn armrest. Oh, excuse me, sir. I didn't choose to sit next to your heaping mound of an existence. Fate brought us together. But so help me God. I will use my two moisturized elbows and I'll jab you right in the windpipe. Last time I checked, we were both on a flight to Acapulco. We were on a flight to WWE Elbow Mania. But I'll turn it into that if it gets to that point, sir. Because I have two elbows right here. I'm not afraid to use them. Next, people who bring food from home. You think I wouldn't bring my Cornish game hens from home if I could? I'd eat the hell out of those Cornish game hens. I'd finish before the plane even took off. That's how good my Cornish game hens are. They're so good. But I'm not a monster. You, on the other hand, have the damn nerve to bring a plastic baggie full of cream of shrimp soup. You're just sucking it up with a straw right in your little plane seat. An airplane is not the dumpster behind a Burger King. I know that that's what you're used to because you're a piece of garbage. You can't just eat whatever you want here. You can't just have it your way. You can eat your cream of shrimp soup in the gutter like God intended. Then there's always that person who thinks it's fun to complain about airport security, like there's some kind of special snowflake and everybody else doesn't have to do everything that they gotta do. You're not special just cause you have buy one get one free shoes from Payless that you don't wanna take off your fucking feet. We're all here doing the same thing, sir. So take off your goddamn shoes, pull out your goddamn laptop and get in in line, you sniveling ass weasel. That's what I say. Next, there's all those people who know they should check their bags, but they still try to sneak it onto the airplanes, even though it's too big. You think this plane is just gonna be magically big enough to fit all your damn shit? I didn't squeeze all my lotions into tiny little bottles, cause it's fun. I did it cause them's the rules. So why don't you just put your luggages into the little luggages roller coaster like everybody else and get on the goddamn plane and shut your goddamn mouth. Next, there's all those people who try to judge you for getting drunk on the airplane. What? A grown man can't enjoy a nice adult beverage while he's soaring through the sky like a majestic falcon? Flying is unnatural. And if you're gonna stick me in a metal tube and launch me through the damn sky, I'm gonna need a damn drink. Okay? Then there's those people who take a big old shit right in the airplane. You're just pooping into a little plane bucket that we have to carry with us all the way to where we're going. We just have to fly with your poop. You turn this plane into a flying outhouse. 
for like that scene from that movie where Dorothy f flies her house to the wizard, except with way more poop. And then finally, there's always those people who look perfect every time they get off an airplane. F you and your perfect airplane hair, you piece of shit. Everybody should get off an airplane looking like they just survived a fist fight with a swamp monster in the middle of a hurricane. That's what I look like. That's what I look like. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this week. As always, you can find our videos every week on whineaboutit.tumblr.com, my page, which is facebook.com slash buzzfeedmat, and find all our videos on youtube.com slash buzzfeedvideo if you want. And that's it. That's everything. That's all of it. God. Oh, I don't know. I didn't take my shoes off. Ah, I spent thirty dollars at Payless, and I don't want to take off my shoes. So if they get dirty, just take off your damn shoes. I'm sick of it.